It's special for me. I did a reading with Francis probably about 37 years ago around a table of actors, and I wondered what this film was. Uh, it had so much to say about a time that um, has come upon us. Uh, the film is really a film for its time. It means so much more to me today than it did 37 years ago when we read it, and it is a brilliant movie about the future. I play Mayor Cicero, who is steeped in an old way of thinking. Uh, he's a mayor who's come up um, through the blood and sweat of his political career, and he is a bit corrupt and has old ideas and not open to the new. His daughter falls in love with Caesar, who is a new um, industrialist builder with new ideas, a man who can stop time, who, uh, as a mayor of, of a city, feels like this man has preposterous ideas. And through the journey of this movie, um, you know, uh, I, Mayor Cicero, makes a transformation to understand and how he can start to accept the new world. The great debate is that we have um, failed to be able to agree to disagree. We've failed to be able to come together, uh, bringing your ideas, which I may not completely understand, and my ideas, which you don't want, together to form a better idea. And this is the problem with American politics today. The film really exemplifies much of the ideas that we want to move forward and get beyond. What are we doing here? We're experimenting. What do you want? Well, I'm finding out what I want on this day. Other days you come in, he's texting me at 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, with an idea, an idea that spurns a thought. So by the time I get to the set, I have something new to offer that both of us didn't expect. He's a wonderful filmmaker and a wonderful storyteller, and you should see this movie in IMAX right away.